Alright guys, so no project update this week. I am still working on it and I'll have a video for that next week. But what I want to do today is use this channel and my platforms to spread awareness about the power of 3D printing uh, during this pandemic. So you've probably already seen a lot about this, but the 3D printing community has really come together in a tremendous effort to try and provide healthcare workers with the personal protective equipment that they really need. I've sent out around 80 masks so far to my local area and everybody's been so, so grateful. So if you've got a 3D printer, you can also help, please do so. So what I wanna do is show you how you can get the files, uh, what materials I've been using and how I've been assembling them. Let's take a look. So this is the main page on the Prusa website and you can see this has everything you'd possibly need. All the information, the assembly manuals, assembly video, the design files, everything here. So all these links that I mentioned will be in the description below. Make sure you check them out. So you can see the version of the shield is currently on RC3 and that's the latest. And um, what you can do is just click this files tab here and it'll give you all the files, the STLs, even the pre-sliced files ready for you to use. So you can see here, you can print them in a stack of four like this. So what I've been doing is I've been printing two at a time throughout the day when I'm available to um, you know, restart the prints. But overnight, I'll print a stack of four just so I'm not losing out any print time overnight. And my print has actually been in operation 24 seven. Some people have been having issues with the, the pre-stacked prints using the G code or the 3MF files. What I do is I download the STLs, import them yourself into the slicer and slice everything yourself. I think it has a lot to do with the speed of the predefined G-code. Um, it's printing at like 150, 200%. Most of the time your printer's not gonna like that. I'd recommend you slow the first layer down, right down to maybe 25, 30%. And then after that, you can speed it up and it'll be good to go. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the materials I've been using and how I've been assembling them. This is a stack of four shields printing and to do these I highly recommend you use PETG. I did try PLA, it, it does work, it's strong enough, but PETG sticks a lot better to the steel sheet. And a problem you can run into is when you print over the same area so many times, it starts to lose its adhesion. And I didn't have any issues with this using PETG. Before assembling or handling any of the shields, first thing I'd recommend you do is give all your work surfaces a really good clean. You just want to be as careful as possible and try to avoid contamination. So anything that's going to be in contact with the shields, please clean them. I don't have a laser cutter at home, so one of the things I found useful to do was just create this cardboard stencil essentially of the shape that Prusa provided and all that's available on the website as well. The material I'm using is A3 overhead projector film. It's available on like the likes of Amazon. I'll leave links below. Just make sure to round off the corners because they can be quite sharp. They're really simple to put together. Uh, you can use a hole punch to create the holes on the top. And then when you're done, you just pop the plastic sheet onto the holes on the headpiece. And it's really that simple. There's a bottom piece as well to help with the stability of the visor. And all you need other than that is an elastic band and you're good to go. As you can see, I've been able to make a lot of these. Um, I'm able to produce around eight to 10 per day on a single Mark 3S. And remember, every single one of these helps. So don't think that you don't have enough printers or you don't have enough material. If you can make one, you're still helping. After packaging the face shields, try and seal them up safely if possible using sealable bags. Also try and leave them standing for two to three days before sending them out. And remember, please ask whoever you're giving them to to sanitize them before use. So that's it for this one. I hope you're able to take part and help somebody out. As I said at the start of the video, there'll be new project updates next week. So stay tuned for those. Stay safe, be sensible, and I'll see you on the next video.